In this video, I'm going to be giving you a complete walkthrough on how to use intervals.icu to optimize your training performance. Now, personally, I use this. I've been using it for about six months now, and I've built my entire training plan on it. It's really straightforward to use. It's just a web browser. I just pull up on my phone before workouts or just go to my computer to actually modify it. And it's really nice because you can actually integrate it with all of your different watches and wearables that you may have out there, like a Garmin, Strava, Koros, and like pretty much anything. There's like 50 that you can actually integrate it with. So you can actually actually just use your data from the workouts that automatically upload to intervals.icu to it and basically use that data to actually just learn the most possible from it. I'm going to give you a complete walkthrough though and we're going to get started just by going to the intervals ICU website. Now when you actually pull up the website you can actually just log in create an account using Google phone number email just all of that it's really simple to do. But once you've actually logged in, you can actually see you'll be on the activity screen right here. Now, yours, of course, will not look like this, but you can actually see this is basically my layout. You can see all of my different workouts just on this home screen right here. And if we go up a few months, you can actually see that a lot of these squares are actually blank. Now, the reason that they're blank squares is because I haven't added workouts yet. I'll show you how to do that later in this video. But you can actually see all of these different workouts here. If we click on one, you can view more information. I'll show you how to set these different zone paces for you as well, so you can actually make your training plan really really fast and efficient but you can see right here if we click on it you can get some info and basically I just pull this up look at my workouts and you can make it as specific or as loose as you want to and basically after you do these runs if you scroll down here and see all of my workouts that I've already done in past weeks you can basically see that it'll automatically upload these workouts from my wearable or just from Strava wherever you want to connect it to and you can actually compare it compare your heart rate data and compare the workouts on how they actually went and just learn about how the efforts were now as you can see right here if we just click on one of these random workouts you'll actually be able to see that you can actually view your heart rate your mile pace and your altitude whether there be elevation or not on this run and you can actually make specific notes if you do want to make notes just to understand and just let yourself in the future know how this workout went so you can actually build your training plans optimally as possible but if we actually just go here just and it's really easy to view all of this data you can use this arrow but if you want to view like but if we go back to the activities here it's really nicely organized it's just a calendar and going on to the next section you can actually see down here this basically opens up a separate tab for the activities and if you go down to fitness basically what this is is it's a trend directory of how intense your training may be and it basically is used to make sure that you're not going like complete overkill and just training way too hard you're training like perfectly in line for the race you don't want to be training too little but you also don't want to be training in the red zone which you can see on this graph right here the red zone means that you're training a little bit too hard and you're definitely in the risk for injury and if you scroll along this graph right here you can actually see all of the different trends just across six months you can set this period right now I have it set for 53 weeks which is 365 days and you can basically deck this thing out to let it know when you're injured you can see right here I added a note for left heel pain which I had for about a month a few months ago and basically you always want to be trying to be in lines with the green zone right here you can see the gray zone means it's like a little bit of light training the red zone is higher risk you might be putting on a lot more mileage than you normally would putting yourself at a lot higher injury risk in the blue zone so you can basically calculate and just taper and peak for your races so you actually want to lighten your load to make sure that actually aligns with your training graph right here that's if you want to use your data to actually optimize your training plan when you make it I'll show you how in a second but in the power section you can actually note like some of your best efforts if you want to put a star next to them personally I haven't done that or you can click on the pace option to view a lot of your different different paces and just how your trends traject overall for this thing. It shows basically the best times for these different instances just on the screen and you can actually do it for swim, other, bike, run, etc. And you can actually view all of your different totals for basically how much zone one training you've done, zone two, zone three, and you can even go up to zone seven. You can modify all these zones, but you can basically see your total output and what majority of your training actually contributes to. You can see zone one right here is by far the training zone that I have it set most of my work workouts in and you can even compare this to others or just compare activities if you did want to compare like a hard 13 mile run to a couple 400s that you might have done you can do this on this page right here just comparing them side by side very simply and if we go down to the settings here you can actually see that you can put all of your different information just modify your weight units height feet miles just resting heart rate a lot of this small information that really helps when it comes to building your training plan and if we scroll down you can actually view all of these different power settings now what the power settings are is you can actually see if we click on the pencil icon you can basically put your functional threshold power 
power and you can easily modify these these are basically helping determine what percentage is your max pace when it comes to watts or heart rate you can see right here i'm personally using the heart rate settings mainly for my training but if we click on these edit options you can actually see you can change your threshold heart rate you're actually going to want to know this to actually put it in so it's completely accurate so it can actually predict these zones for you but once you put them in it will basically show you all of your different zones now intervals goes up to zone seven for some reason just so it can be more accurate when it comes to zones zone one is recovery very easy very light moderate effort zone two is aerobic zone three is tempo and all the way up to zone seven is basically sprinting all out for about 10 seconds not a very long sustained effort but that is what zone seven is and how you can actually modify these is you can just click on the pencil icon next to them if you want to do so but making sure you actually have the right information your heart rate information for these is critical if you actually want to get the most out of these zone workouts like i'll show you how to edit and modify your workouts but before we do that you can actually see down here if you do want to connect a device again just on the settings option you can actually see we can click on any of these different things which will automatically sync all of the activities from the preferred thing that you wish to connect in this case i have strava and whoop connected on here but all you have to do to connect any of these is you simply just click on the connect option it'll basically take you to the other things website where you just need to log in and give it permission to intervals and it'll even sync some of your gear if you do have like gear on strava or other things you can just add it and modify it just on this page right so and something pretty cool about intervals is you can actually add groups now you can join different people whether it be age groups whether it be your cross-country team if they have a group you can even invite people to actually view their training plan and their efforts you can see right here i'm in a group with one of my friends who actually helps me make my training plan sometimes but you can basically use this as a system just to message people and just view other people's different plans like so you can see if we just click on this other person down here you can actually see we can click on their plan if you do request permission by requesting the admin perms now i don't have permission right here because i'm not a coach but that's all you need to do if you do want to view or modify other people's plans now when it comes to modifying or just creating your workouts if we go back here to the activity screen you can actually see i'm on the calendar option if you don't want to be on the calendar option you can click on this box thing up here or the line thing and you can basically see it week by week now if you scroll up a bunch your calendar probably looks pretty blank like this now when i'm creating my training plans first off i always like to add my races first before i actually build my training runs workouts etc and you can actually see i'm going to go way up here and basically all you need to do to add a race is you just want to click on this box right here and you can see this box will just pop up now you want to start with a race b race or c race now an a race is the most important race by far and a c race could be like a turkey trot 5k something that you're just doing more for fun rather than like a state championship race for an a race now for me if i were running the boston marathon then i would put it as an a race and then i would just give it a title like so and you can basically choose what type of ride this is or activity in this case i'm just doing a run so i'm going to search for a run right here and you can set your duration but we don't have to do that you can do that in the description like i'm about to show you and you can also choose the zones in the description right here now i'm just going to say 26.2 miles in the distance right here and then i'm just going to click on save you can also add a duration if you do have a goal time for this like two hours 20 minutes you can click on save and you can see it'll give you a days out from the actual event that you've added to the calendar now to actually build a training plan though you can actually see if we just click on another blank box right here you can actually see we want to choose what type of activity we're adding now in this case i want to add a running workout so i'm going to click on this right here and i'm just going to name this steady because i want to do a marathon workout now i'm going to do six miles at marathon pace this day and I'm basically going to show you how to modify and edit this. Now, to start, we're going to go with the description right here. And you can see this little graph thing. It goes up and will display the exact amount of time your workout will actually take. Now, to create the workout, all you're going to have to do is you want to start with a dash. Like every single time, a dash and then a space. And you can actually see, I want to do a warm-up. So I'm going to do three miles and then say zone two. So I'm going to do Z2 and then I'm going to say pace. And you can see it will actually show you your specified pace depending on your zone. Now, this is based on your heart rates now you can always take it by feel but this is just something cool so it gives you a baseline on what you're actually looking for in your workouts and i'm just going to try to do seven miles at marathon pace this day so again i'm going to do enter and then i'm going to do another dash space and then type in seven miles like this and i'm going to do it in zone five now zone four about and then you can type in pace and you can see right here it'll automatically just give you an estimated marathon pace based off the paces that you have added into this thing and you can actually do this again you can even do this with strides I want to do like a two mile cooldown first. So I'm going to type in two miles zone 
two pace and then I'm just going to do a few strides with this run as well because like why not but you can see right here it makes it really easy to determine how long this workout will actually take now this one will take about an hour 12 minutes 23 seconds which is crazy and very cool that it does that and if you do want to do some strides at the end I'm just going to do how about 100 meter strides just like so and you can see right here I've actually just created a few strides now I've done a 2x right here this is how many strides I want to do this day and then I've also put a dash and then a space with how many meters each stride roughly is you can make it as specific as possible if you want and then I wrote 100 meters make sure that you have the s on the end of meters and you can actually see I want them to be 15 seconds and then if you want them to be like colored you can actually choose zone 5 pace like so and it'll basically give you this nice spike as well as your pace for these strides like so and if you do want to do a 15 second rest like I've done so here you can also write that and it will automatically be calculated and when you're done with your workout you can click on ok and it'll just save it on this page like so and you can easily just copy it just holding the option or command key on your computer and just move this workout around and if you do want to make another one again you click on a box choose what type of workout it would be whether it be a ride swim or run give it a name in this case i'm going to name it track 400s and then i'm going to start with a dash space two miles zone one pace and then i'm just going to give it four 400s i want to do so i'm going to click on enter twice and then do four times enter again space 400 meters and then i'm going to do zone five pace and as you can see if you want to rest you basically do it the dash space again and i'm going to say how about mm, we're going to do 15 second rest and then we're actually going to jog for 60 seconds and then 15 second rest again and as you can see right here i've just added a standing rest for 15 seconds all you want to do is type in standing rest 15 seconds it does have to be pretty exact and then you want to type in obviously with this uh, you know the dash and then space jogging rest 70 seconds seconds zone one pace if you put a zone it's a lot better because it color codes it and also shows you what your estimated pace is for that zone and you can see right here i've done a standing rest of 15 seconds and you can always do this again if you do want to do a two mile cool down just like so i'm going to do zone one pace and you can see it'll add it like so and when you're done you click on ok and you can easily move this workout around now personally when i build my plans i just add a few workouts and then i add the easy runs within that and then try to hit my mileage goal like with the easy runs and then the long runs of course but i always start with the workouts when building my plans and you can see right here if you just wanted to do an easy run i'm just going to title it easy new dash seven miles zone two pace and as you can see we click on ok and i would just duplicate this run and just drag and drop it and add it to different weeks and you can always just open up one of these runs edit a description and just copy it and then always just paste that if you do want to make some edits on a completely different day just like so you can see i pasted it and let's just say i wanted to do i don't know 11 miles and uh no strides i don't want strides so i'm just going to delete that and you can easily edit it like so and if you wish to delete an activity you can always just click on it and then click on the trash can symbol right here and click on the delete option like so and you can always do this for all of your workouts it does take some time it is pretty quick though and they're basically just gone like that so yeah so yeah this is what i used to train personally i build all of my training plans you can view all of my workouts and stuff on here and you can always add a note to one of these things just by clicking on it like let's just say i got entry or wanted to do weight training you can always do that on this section right here adding a calendar entry or you can note if you were sick had a holiday notes etc in this case i want to say injured and click on ok and that's all it takes and as you can see that right there is how you use intervals icu if you found this helpful please consider liking and subscribing i put a lot of time into these videos and running so it would mean a lot if you did and happy running thank you so much for watching